Django. How are you, my friend? Hey, Paul. Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. How are you doing? I'm good, bro. I'm good. Uh, I just think it's worth mentioning both of us have lost a good friend, the same person. Uh, a good friend of ours, Dominic, a great artist and a man that we both respected and worked for in Dublin. Um, you worked for him, Django, about five, yeah, six years ago. And I yeah. worked for him maybe seven or eight years ago. But uh, yeah. we all knew us as a little group in Dublin down in Temple Bar when we worked on the street doing, uh, uh, selling photographs for this incredible artist, Dominic. And I used to do my tarot cards. You would do busking. So we would all know us down there in Temple Bar. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. uh, a very good friend of ours, Dominic, a wonderful photographer and a great artist and, in fact, a great poet and a, a lover of Irish culture and literature, Dominic Baines, a Belgian artist. Uh, he passed away before his time a couple, uh, about 10 days ago. And uh, both of us are very saddened over. So we just want to take this moment to say rest in peace, Dominic. Um, uh, you were a good man. And... Uh, Hey, I'm just going to show very quickly now, just what, just for one minute, just a few of Dominic's photographs. Yeah, yeah, that's cool, yeah. And these are photographs that Dominic took uh, over his period of, over the last 20 years. Very iconic photographs of Dublin and Ireland, which he loved very much. Dominic was Belgian, as I say, painter and poet. Uh, he loved Ireland dearly. He was a true artist to the core. And uh, thank you very much for allowing us to just share this moment with you for Django and me. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. I'd like to say a few words about Dominic oh, as please well. Please do, please do. Yeah, on. he was, uh, you know, uh, I didn't get to know like him deeply, but I can say that in a difficult moment in my life, he helped me a lot. So I just would like to say thanks. And uh, me too, bro. I have to yeah, say yeah. that. Uh, and I yeah. think he did these things quietly and just yeah, with yeah, the person yeah. involved and, he was a good yeah, man. because you know the, the time I worked for him, it was a it was, it was a time that busking wasn't going so well, you know, and uh, and and uh, and uh, he just helped me up with the with the photographs and uh, yes, took me to to his studio. You know, I learned how to do the photographs and uh, and for my own part, I got uh, yeah. thrown out of a treatment center and then I got invited back, but I didn't have the rent money for the week and Dominic gave mm. me the rent for the treatment center money and uh, I was able to pay him back about a year or so later. It took me. Uh, but, you know, I remember being very grateful to him for that. And he offered it without hesitation uh, when he saw there was a chance for me to go into treatment uh, some seven years ago. Unfortunately, the treatment didn't work, but he was very kind to give me the opportunity to go. And uh, uh, I'll never forget that. Yeah. So uh, yeah. rest in peace, Dominic, from both Django and you myself. Rest in peace, yeah. For sure thing. So, right, we got... Um, to change the subject drastically now, to go from mm. bereavement into a uh, greedy profit, we'll <laughs> jump straight into it. Django, how are you anyway, Bo? Uh, how are you, man? Uh, yeah, yeah, you know, other other than you know what what what, we, what we've just said with the with the friend with the markets, I think everything is is kind of uh, picking up again. Yeah, yeah, so. yeah. There's a lot yeah. of uh, green as opposed to red print on the crypto mm. app. Yeah, yeah. We like green. That means profit yeah. go up. Yeah. <laughs> Red is bad down. <laughs> so we're happy to say things have uh, perked up a little. And anybody who joined us with this crypto buzz should be in profit right now. Uh, but we're here for the long run. Yeah, we're here so, for the long run. Yeah. yeah. And, just, and, and, and just like a quick tip here. I mean, the, the, the thing to watch out for at uh, right now is... If we keep getting higher highs, as as, uh, as mentioned in the last show, if we keep getting higher highs, it means that we're still in the bull market, and this means it, it's like it's it's a positive sign yes. that things are, are like a, but, are uh, looking good. If we, if we get if every time that that that, that we, we go up, we we get a lower high than the time before. Maybe it's a little bit of a, of a red flag, and we should be looking should be considering the possibility of entering a bear market. Yeah. Absolutely, no? bro. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, uh, yeah, let's just address a few things. Uh, mm. VecChain, you had a look into that this week. Um, uh, I know Keith. I've been trying to get in touch with Keith. I was hoping mm. he could have got up, jumped up onto, mm. this, uh, onto this call, but I couldn't get mm. an answer from him. So, Keith, if you're watching this, for next week, bro, me and Django will send you the Zoom invite. Jump up on there. You've some great ideas. You've some good logic, and uh, that's the kind of stuff we want to share up here, bro. And uh, we'd we'd yeah. love to have yeah. you participate. And um, 
because uh, I think you and Django will hit it off. You both seem to be a good, intelligent man, and I can sit back and benefit <laughs> and, and get the uh, reward from your two young, active brains, because <laughs> mine's all burnt out. So I got to trust you guys to make me some cash money over here. <laughs> <laughs> and that way, you know, like you're a good man yourself. Well, good you know, I, I'll do. I've just got round to about accepting who I am in life. So, I, you know, I'll, I'll roll with the deal I was dealt. And I'll just try and make some cash money dollar. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> so uh, tell us, Django, um, let's, uh, what have you heard about Je Vec Chain, bro? Fill us so, in, bro. So, yeah, I... I think like the network is called VeChain, yeah. And on the VeChain network, they have the VET coin. They, they actually have two, two like they are, they are a two token system. They have the okay. VET coin and they have the VSOR, I guess. Okay. Yeah. Uh, well, well, like talking of of uh, tokenomics, yeah. The, they have this this two token system, so one doesn't that uh, the destabilize the other one. Uh, we, we won't get in too much detail into like the. With right. the uh, tokenomics, but just like a, as uh, as basics, they have this two uh, token system. So, but mm -hmm. fundamentally, what, what I mean, let, let's just say that I'm very glad that this was brought to my attention. Yeah, because right. I, I uh, you know, I I've been reading about crypto for a few years, but you know, there's so many good projects out there, and it's very hard to keep an eye on uh, everything that's going on. Yeah, and uh, we you know what we tend to do is we pick our favorites and we follow them very closely. Yes. And just, we keep a knife uh, like on the other ones, and V Chain was running out of my radar for whatever reason, and I, I'm I'm very glad that it was brought to my attention because you know this last few days I've been doing some research on V Chain yes. and it's such an interesting project. Okay, excellent because um, I know yeah. Keith was telling us that uh, we, we sort of really looked into that, and yeah. it seems that he was uh, quite right again. Um, so yeah, he was quite right again. Yeah, so I, so I, we're delighted. Yeah. Listen, we're just up here. We're looking for the best information possible or we're not um anybody comes up with something we look at it puts out forward a logical argument we will look into it yeah and, we look um, into it definitely. as django has done on the suggestion of keith here and uh, he's come up to say that VecChain has a uh, interesting function it's a jewel it's got two different coins under its umbrella um is that right when you say two different yeah, tokens? Yeah, 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 right. yeah, I mean, the, the which two one do you find uh, would be the what's the better of the two do you think for our long-term it's, it's 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 not a matter of like better of the two they they, they serve different functions on on the network yeah right. we're going to cover the tokenomics later yeah let, let, let's just talk about the project as a whole yeah okay like v chain as a whole what they're trying to tag the problem like their function they serve is is uh, tracking and they and they want and they, they, they like basically tracking products from the time they 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 produce to the time they delivered. So when yeah. when you buy something, you are really sure that what you're getting is 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 real. Yeah, is the original product. Right. So so it any it goes for anything, food, uh, like fashion products, automobile. You know, uh, so a bit supply chain. Everything that has a supply chain that has like a long Long, like travels long distances till it gets to the final uh, mm -hmm. consumer. Yes. So, like, ideally, ideally, I think their vision is that let's say you as a, as a customer, you you're in a restaurant and you buy like let's let's say French wine, for example. Mm -hmm. That wine is actually French. So, ideally, when like their project is actually up and running, there will be some sort of a QR code or something similar to that. And you could just scan that and use the blockchain technology to track all of the steps. Okay. You so know, and know that that wine actually came from France. It was produced on this day by okay. this guy. And it, hmm? So here we have a coin, uh, a VEX chain. I'm just trying to translate um, yeah, yeah. Uh, put it into more basic language. Here we have an interesting coin, VEX chain, that serves a function which will, which uh, that particular function of VEX chain is to enhance the security and the authenticity of products yeah of supply chains in of general, supply chains every, in every, general. Every, every product that has a supply chain it would use the the v chain blockchain right i see yeah. so yeah. and it can be identified from its barcode through the yeah possibly yeah with with the barcode you'll be able to track the history of the product right so it's a and, very... to, and to use the blockchain you probably need to use the the native coins of the blockchain so 
So, you know, so so that's where the value of the of of the vet coin and of the may coin become is, indispensable in yeah, the yeah, future. Yeah, yeah. Very yeah. interesting, and that's what we're looking at. Yeah. We're looking at the functions of coins. Yeah. To uh, we're looking at the functions of coins to try and see what ones will be needed in this digital future. Exactly, because exactly. Because you know, everything can be hyped up. Everything can be hyped up, right. especially when there's a new technology. Yes. Uh, you know, people don't understand it quite well, but they see potential. Everything gets hyped up. Yeah. And in the short term, you can make insane profits with 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 just promises. Yeah. For sure. For sure. But, but when we look at the fundamentals, like V chain has very strong fundamentals. Yeah. And it, you know, and if you put, I, I know I, from from what I've learned so far, if you put someone in there and if you wait long enough, it seems like one of the projects that will. You know, stand the test of time. Yeah. So V chain, very interesting, yeah. very, very interesting, interesting project for 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 the people that are in this for the long haul. For sure, and I just yeah. think it's worth mentioning a friend of mine, uh, um, a man who I uh, I met in India, uh, Peter Fox, who very kindly um, supported my channel, my GoFundMe for Dell. Thank you, Peter, very much. I'm giving you a shout out because he also mentioned. Um, on Facebook, he put a comment with an interesting comment about Bitcoin and, and that he had initially, I just want to read it to you because this is the kind of thing you're dealing with with cryptocurrency. Mm. Oh, mm. My phone just went. <laughs> but let me tell you, uh, I can tell you what it says. Yeah. It says he bought Bitcoin for 0. Yeah. 0.0005 cents back in 96 or 95 or something. And, and then right. he bought uh, Ethereum then was next. He bought yeah. a couple of 50 Ethereum. Uh, mm -hmm. He sold out, he said he uh, panicked a little and uh, when he was in big profit and he sold out at a profit mm -hmm. of 22,000 uh, mm -hmm. sterling, uh, I believe. Uh -huh. And But that was uh, a couple of years ago before it got really interesting. And uh, mm -hmm. if he'd have stayed with it now, he reckons he would have, by Saturday, he would have been a millionaire, Saturday last week, <laughs> because he tracks what his coin worthage mm -hmm. is now. But he would have been a millionaire uh, had he hung in there, and that's the kind of break we're kind of open to make here for people, just to show what is possible in this. Yeah, what what is possible? Yeah. World. I mean, let, let, yeah, let's just mention. That I don't know exactly when he bought his Bitcoin, but I, I, if I'm not if I'm not wrong, I think Bitcoin first came out in 2008. I think well, officially. Maybe back then. I don't know yeah, whenever yeah. he bought. I think before it. that there was there was some like uh, like uh, let's say early forms of Bitcoin, but not right. but not really Bitcoin itself. Not uh, Bitcoin just, as we know it today. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Just just for the I th I think it's 2008. And uh, but yeah, if you bought like in the early days, even like a really small amount, yeah. by today, you know, it, it's uh, the, 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 the potential is huge. Mm -hmm. I think we all know. Like, Absolutely. Uh, yeah, the and potential you know, is huge. Yeah. The fact that that could still happen again, yeah. Bitcoin could still go up to who knows? There's a cap on Bitcoin. There's only a little bit left. Yeah, so I, I, I can tell you this much. Yeah. So, so, so let, let's take this, this, this time to like to share some uh, personal stories. Okay, yeah? let's do that. So, I, I, uh, uh, first time I heard of Bitcoin, Bitcoin was worth like two two hundred dollars. Okay. Yeah? And uh, it, and it, it was already a lot at the time. Yeah, it yes. had just like it had just grown from like I don't know thirty fifty dollars to two hundred dollars. Yeah. And uh, people, a lot of people, are, this is insane. This is no, has no real value. And, and then, and then I'm watching YouTube, and there's like, uh, like Bitcoin, like uh, hardcore guys, and they're saying yeah. Bitcoin is going to go to a thousand dollars. People are going, you're crazy. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you're crazy. Bro, you're crazy. It's never going to have like two hundred dollars already too much. And, and then, these yeah, guys, these guys were on YouTube telling people <laughs> this shit's going to go to a thousand dollars. It's since gone to fifty thousand. Yeah, these yeah, guys yeah, back in the day, they do what mean. we're doing that's, now, bro. That's what I said. Yeah, when it, when they went to two thousand dollars, like it doubled the milestone. And right. then I, I was watching YouTubers saying it's gonna go to a hundred thousand dollars, and that's the, the that's the, the like the milestone that we haven't gotten yet. But it just doesn't. At the time, it seemed insane. It seemed like it's something that will just never happen. Like yeah. no, it, it just, we just got to two thousand. That's already a lot. It's not going to go w much more than that. Hundred thousand is insane. But here we are right now, and it's like sixty thousand is already normal, you know. Bro, we didn't think it, did we? You know, <laughs> I remember. Sixty thousand is already, you know, it's it's already guy, like only last year. Yeah. Only yeah. last year it dropped to three grand. Yeah, uh, like only last year From it dropped. Yeah, yeah, down to three, and 
and then it jumped right back up. Uh, I know a lot of people panicked when it hit the three grand and pulled out. They thought it was the end of crypto, and they sold it. You know, they sold it up, and then it jumped back up within a few months to fifty grand. Yeah, and there you go. And, 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 and like in those times, I think you always have to go back to the fundamentals. I mean, because you know, people panic when they don't know the fundamentals. They don't know the. I mean, I myself, I don't know all the fundamentals, but I, 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 I just know that, uh, like, Bit, Bitcoin in itself, it, it, well, it's in this digital age. Yes, it's much better than than traditional gold, and people always look for something to, to, well, to hold value over time. Right, right. You know what I mean? And let's say that you know, when cash is not is not is not, is not, is not well, like banks, like interest rates. Uh, like you're always uh, uh, dependent on government regulation. Right. So like uh, here, here, here we are with this digital uh, form of, of, of money that, that has, it, it has no government. It has no, right. Right, it, it's just like free for the people to use. And that's know? what people are also afraid of, that there isn't a government body backing or ensuring yeah, because the same thing, growth. you know, it's a blessing and a curse. The same thing that yeah. makes it interesting is the thing that makes it a bit dangerous. <laughs> Isn't it? that the same with everything in life? <laughs> that when, like, for example, relationships, you meet somebody and they have a quirky little different way about them, and that's what you were attracted to. And yeah. that ends up being the thing you end up hating, <laughs> you know. When, it's the same, yeah. For me, yeah. for example, myself. <laughs> When, when women meet me initially, they like that yeah. uh, I'm relaxed and a bit loose about my life and a bit sort of open yeah, and they about find, And they find that, that attractive. Yeah. They think it's lovely until they <laughs> fucking move in with me and then they <laughs> try to change that. <laughs> so, hey, you know, it's the same in everything in life. Yeah, it's the same. Yeah. The thing we love about it is the thing we hate about it. The thing we hate about it is the thing we love about it. The risk is the danger, uh, but also the presence and the gift. The delight yeah, is the yeah. despair, and then the despair is the delight. It's a it's a quagmire of interesting <laughs> dynamics, isn't it, really? Yeah, yeah it is. <laughs> it is yeah. exactly. Yeah, exactly. But uh, yeah, really interesting though times to be in, and to yeah. see how this unfolds. And guys, you know, the whole thing hits the the bottom and falls and crashes down. It's been an interesting journey and uh, <laughs> an interesting speculation, but. More than likely, this thing is going to catch hold. It's going to grow and develop, and it's going to be the future way we interact and use currency digitally. And we believe that, and that's why we do this crypto show. We want some of our folk, that means people that are in a redemptive mm -hmm. uh, life, if you've come out of jail, out of drugs, or you're just trying to get on your feet financially, mm -hmm. plug in with us here at Cold Turkey. Um, we do a multitude of different shows, but this particular show, Crypto Buzz, I know it has its own fans and its own following, and it's pretty small. We're still new here, so yeah, yeah. If you like this show, please, uh, you know, share the love, share the show, put it on any social media outlet. Simple advice on crypto, from uh, spoken in language we can understand. Those of us <laughs> that are not uh, financially minded, like me. Um, mm. But uh, I can still break it down for yeah, people. Let, um, let's just say that I'm not financially minded, like uh, the like the, the the least, you know. I just, no, I know that. Yeah, it, it's it's just that I'm so interested in the tech part of it that yes. it, you know, and, I do, and the and the finance just comes with it. And right, you know, and I believe yeah. the knowledge and the information about the tech part is indispensable yeah. in, yeah. in in knowing what we should. Uh, what we should move on as we move forward and try to make some bank on this crypto scene. Yeah, yeah. We make so. I mean, it will become the only bank, I think. <laughs> oh, at the end of the day, that virtual bank that doesn't really exist, with that virtual money that doesn't really exist. But, uh, you know, once you see those knots and it's all in green and it's on your phone, you'll be a happier person. <laughs> You know? Yeah, you'll be happy. We like green. We like green. We like green. We like green. Green no, is yeah. go. Red. Yeah, green is gold. Green is like eco-friendly, yes. and green is profit. Green is good. Absolutely. You know? Absolutely. What more can we say? <laughs> you know, uh, we're all for the green. Um, and yeah. Uh, yeah, funny enough, and the green has also been the word we use for uh, <laughs> green money. Yeah, yeah. Or uh, back in the day, green. You know, when we we're having a smoke. <laughs> <laughs>
So, yeah, green for go and red for stop. And we're all green at the moment. So we're happy to uh, say that. Yeah. Um, but like, uh, we'd always mention this, you know, if you're following our way of doing this, guys, don't worry mm -hmm. about these. Don't get too excited about, oh, I'm in 40% profit today because tomorrow that could drop to 10. Yeah, yeah. To yeah, the thing is, we, yeah, we should stress to, to the newcomers that th things move fast and you make big profits and, and they might drop the yes, next day. Yes, they do. And just to, for any newcomers, if you want to get on board with us, hmm. sign up to crypto.com, eToro, whatever is you find handy for you. But we're going with crypto.com for the moment. Yeah. Um, also, the particular coins, if anybody wants, let us know in the comment section if you want to recap. We can recap it next week, show you the coins that we were interested in, the coins we bought, and bring you up to date. They haven't moved much. They have gone up a little, but they haven't moved much from where we bought in at, guys. So there's still a chance to buy in with the cold turkey farm, the cold turkey crew. Stay with us on this journey and progress with us. And, you know, we'll weigh it in every week. We'll look at what's happening. But our whole thing is to play the long game with this. With yeah, this, uh, every every week we just give a market update, but yeah, we, we can't stress this enough that we are in this for the long haul. You know, absolutely. we will be here. I mean, we're here now in a bull market when when everything's green, but we'll be here in the, in a bear market when 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 we you know we'll be yeah. here too. And we'll be here. Yeah, we sure will. Until, unless we stay in the bear market, <laughs> where me and Django might just do an exit stage left. <laughs> if everything's no, going no, that way, continue. No, I mean, I mean, we might <laughs> sell our positions. But we'll be here talking about the bear market. You know sure we will. And we're here for that bitter end. Yeah, bitter yeah, end. yeah. And and there's, and there's, and there's always green in the, in the in in the future again because you know as we explained a little bit in the last video, with every cycle, cryptos. I mean, with every market, market works with cycles. Yeah, even right. the, even in the stock market, it has like a really like profitable cycle, and then it goes down for for a couple of years. Then it has a, a good cycle again. Yes. Yes. yes indeed. But, we tend to believe, you know, the people in tech that uh, the cycles in crypto, they happen fast. Everything is faster in crypto. Yeah. 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 So, fast. yeah, yeah. so, so we might get like, like, let, let's say like enter a bear market, but I don't think it's going to last long. And the bear market is just time to find the good projects yeah. and wait for the next bull market. You know what I mean? Because <laughs> yes. that's what I'm saying. We might sell our positions. We don't want to go all the way back down. You know no, what I mean? we, we don't. No, we, and we may change from one coin to another if we see something. But in the bear market, we'll, we'll be still commenting about the market and, and, right. and finding what coins will probably be, uh, what, uh, uh, will be good for the next uh, bull yes, market. Yes, as we come nearer and nearer into the digital age, uh, as we move forward, uh, into what we believe will become eventually a digital future. Mm. As we do in these coins, some of them will become obsolete. Some of them become very important. And we're going to try and identify those on the way. If we see a coin that we find is losing momentum and ground and we've invested in it, mm. we'll try and pull it out and advise that and get onto something good. But we have to know that it's consistently going to go down because in some of these drops, as you say, mm. it's just the bear and bull ride. Mm. Yeah, exactly. A fair exactly, and bull yeah, run. Yeah. And uh, we've got to allow these downs. But we'll also be watching out to see if something loses its uh, credibility. And, okay, we need to pull out of this one or that one. So we're going we're gonna to be the guardians of your digital wallets out there, guys, <laughs> with advice and telling you what to do uh, with the couple of pounds you have invested. Tips, yeah. Tip, no, no financial advice. You know, we just share what we do. Tips. Yes. Exactly. We just, we, just, we share what we do, share and uh, we, you know, we we hope you're all in the green. You know, we don't want to Absolutely. see any like any. Anybody well, if do. you've been listening to our advice, guys, since we've started this about six weeks ago, you would be in the green, and you would be mm. in profit, and you'd be doing actually quite okay at the moment. But as I say, we're doing this for the long haul. We're looking at a two-year project, which could be extended or brought short if we thought getting a little too crazy. But that's the that that original I, idea. I just would like to, to add one uh, one other other thing sure, to bro. like to the thing that you were saying about the bull run and and uh, like to the yeah, to the bear, go ahead, bro. The bull cycles, the bear cycles, because uh, 
a, a lot of new people, a lot of newcomers, when they first get uh, uh, into crypto, or let's just say like the, the, the deniers, they like to compare it to the dot-com bubble. And they say that like, this is just like the dot-com bubble. Right. Most of these projects won't even exist in a few years. And they might be right about that. But one thing mm. that, they, that they forget about the dot-com bubble is that what, what were people speculating with in the dot-com bubble? They were speculating with the internet. Yeah. You know, and yeah. they, I think they were damn right about the internet having a future. <laughs> yeah, oh, they were. Yeah, yeah. It was never an old fad, was it? Yeah. You can't, you, know, connect, the... you can't connect the whole world up together and make all the information of the universe accessible and then turn around six months and say, okay, that fad is over. We're moving on to something else. Because that was a groundbreaking uh, dynamic to happen for the first time ever in the history of the earth as we know it. Uh, as we know it yeah yeah you know, and there was many connections there, yeah there were many internet companies that if you just had dot com in your name you were making money that that's yeah. why they call it the the dot com bubble yes you know and even bad companies so i mean with every new technology people speculate with it it's just the nature of human beings you yes know? <laughs> my god and we're actually so, trying to make educated guesses on, yeah and speculate on what will be the products that will last and whether the storm yeah. and prove to be invaluable over the passage of time mm. as we yeah. cruise forward into this new but uncertain future. <laughs> See, Paul, this is why we yeah. have you in the show. See? This, <laughs> those are the things that I'm not able to say. Right? <laughs> yeah, well, you know, sometimes flowery language covers up my inadequacies <laughs> and my inability to understand <laughs> more deeply. Then maybe you might jangle. So we both bring to the table a little yeah, bit of flavor yeah, we, to get our message. We sure out. do, yeah. I wouldn't be able to do this thing on my own. You wouldn't be able to do it on your own. No, so I absolutely know. wouldn't. All I could do is maybe look up some YouTube videos and then just regurgitate it yeah. out over here. But I'd rather. But I wouldn't be able to do it on my own either. You know? Well, that's great. You know, because that mix of yeah. your mind uh, and maybe my possibility to be able to deliver this with my little platform, mm. we're getting a good message out there. I think and people so. that um there's a lot of crypto shows out there i do believe that we have no interest in uh getting people to buy up to anything or any, we're just out here putting this advice out because we genuinely believe that for those that do it even as an interest there's a there's a bit of bank to be made here and um there's a bigger bank to be made the tech is 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 like just so interesting you know like i can't stress enough how how I, interesting the tech absolutely. behind all of, behind behind all of it is you know yes yeah yeah and you would have i know that if you're excited by the tech behind it i know it's interesting yeah. because i know that's your whole arena jungle yeah and that excites me about the possibilities with this yeah. and all but um bro yeah we're into we're nearly half an area and i know we had um a little uh tribute there yeah, to Tom. But you're going to do your magic tricks there, yeah? You do the editing and you I make it in, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. sort of, but that's okay too, yeah. you know. I mean yeah. I might just leave the whole rim. I love a look to it. Because yeah. a lot of it's okay. Um yeah. um yeah, bro. Django, it's been uh, great again, once again. It's been um, great, yeah. So we know that VecChain is an interesting project and anybody yeah, VChain, VChain. VChain, VChain yeah. is an interesting product uh project. And, yeah. um thank you keith for the heads up on that and yeah. anybody who shane hell and anybody who's been following our crypto uh, dot com show um a big shout out to you all also to deep purple who is asking me to uh, go over the basics again he, he wants to get on from the start so we're going to cover that next week um to deep purple we're going to uh go through the coins that we've got and the basic app uh, and just the basic thing so there's still time for everybody to get on board. If you want to get a bit of knowledge about crypto, start looking at the shows that we did. They're into the playlists in cold turkey of Crypto Buzz with Django, um, and you'll find those playlists on my channel. And if you just like the crypto shows, all the crypto shows are together on that. Uh, if you, and you can watch the Holmes interviews there on different playlists and other things that we're doing over here at cold turkey. But uh, the crypto show is, the playlists are all together and it would be for anybody they're only about 10 or 12 minutes this is probably one of the longer ones we've done all the information there for the beginner if you want to watch through those shows there's only about five or six of them till now and the first ones uh they go for about 10 15 minutes but they will fill you in on everything up to date that we've been doing here in cold turkey mm. and at the end of the day we are actually in profit we're doing well 
uh, I'm happy to report, but see, we're not in this for the short term, it's a long term thing, we, we keep saying that. But anyway, uh, yeah, I'd like to just say from myself um, and from Django, uh, we're wishing everybody um, a happy speculative uh, week. <laughs> Stay safe out there, guys. And um, another thing to remember, just, you know, and because we started this off in the memory to our friend Dom, uh, just to remember the value of life. And the value of life in each other. Appreciate each other. He won't always be there. You know, life will take us away from each other. We're just passing ships in the night. So be respectful and loving to those that you pass. Yeah, that pa you yeah. pass you in life. That's what. That's I very well said, bro. Yeah, just make uh, your your words my words. Yeah. Thank you, brother. Thank you. Yeah. And uh, Django, have a nice week over there, bro. Um, you too, yeah. Stay blessed, yeah. my brother. Yeah, yeah, till next week, yeah. Till next week, my friend. <laughs> Auf Wiedersehen. Auf Wiedersehen. <laughs>